you have to excuse me. My eyeball looks like I've been alien probed. All right. I've got to be honest with you. I've not been very well this week at all. I've had a horrible neck thing going on, an eyeball popping out of my head, headaches. All right? I've been to the doctors. Apparently, I'm absolutely fine. Okay. I just need a man up and get on with life. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> anyway. So on this channel, we, um, we show a lot of UFO footage. We won't talk about the last UFO upload that I did because I got a little bit stick for that. And on the reflection, I gotta be honest, I probably could cho have chosen some better UFO footage. So I'm sorry about that, okay? Talking about things that could be legit and couldn't be fake, this photo has been going around the internet and it's causing quite a bit of a storm, actually. It's gone pretty viral. And this, the backstory behind it is incredible, which makes it more credible. <laughs> Get what I did there. What you're about to see is the best UFO photo ever. And you've probably seen it on the thumbnail, but we're going to go into a little bit more detail. All right. As well as other mixed bag of UFO videos that I want to uh, show you. Now, um, and it also sort of like throws on to the, you know, throws more wood onto the fire. Um... Is that, that's not the phrase, is it? Is it more coal onto the fire? More coal onto the flames? Whatever. Um, about whether you think things are legit and you think things are real. Uh, sorry, fake. All right? Because in the world, the, uh, what, I've, what I've noticed as I'm going into UFO footage and videos and alien vit footage and uh, uh, videos, it shows very much the similar... Um, uh, approach as ghost videos paranormal videos that i do you have one side saying this is fake as f and the other side saying this is real as f right we are never going to <laughs> we're never going to agree and for me to try to convince people that things are real or real or fake i'm pissing in the wind all right so let's have a little look at this photo first of all because this is absolutely <clears throat> amazing this photo here all right <clears throat> Now, look at this dude. I'm going to tell you the, the story of this. Later on, we're going to see like a little compilation of UFO videos, which I thought were really good. Um, but listen to this story because this raises so many alarm bells, so many red flags, and it's really weird. Okay, so take a listen to this. On the 4th of August, 1990, two hitchhikers near Calvine in Scotland took a photograph of a mysterious diamond-shaped flying object hovering in the, in the sky. For 32 years, that image dubbed the Calvine photo disappeared from the public eye, becoming the object of speculation, theories and myths. But now, the groundbreaking image has finally resurfaced thanks to the efforts of British journalist David Clark. After 13 years of research, Clark, who, was, uh, who has worked as a curator for Britain's National Archives, as currently an associate professor at Sheffield Hallam University, found that the former Royal Air Force RAF press office Craig Lindsay had held on to a copy of the last remaining original print, waiting for someone to inquire about the mysterious image. In the photo, one of a series of six the hikers reportedly took, a diamond-shaped object can be seen flying in the sky, while a fighter jet can be spotted in the background uh, not too far from it. This is the picture again, okay? I've, I've probably kept it up there, but look, this is the picture, right? Now, the reason why I'm reading you this backstory, it gets super interesting in a second, okay? But if I was to show you that photo, there would be a lot of people, I reckon, that would say, that is so fake. All right? I really do. I, I believe that sometimes you have to hear a backstory in order to believe what you're seeing, right? Now, that can work in, t that can work in two, two different ways. One somebody could just make up an elaborate story just to try and reinforce that it's real or two um it is a real story right so it, it's difficult it's a difficult one it's the first time the public has uh, has had access to the elusive image which has been described as the best ufo photo ever taken 
Back in 1990, the two hitchhikers, hitchhikers, sorry, <laughs> the two hikers brought the photo to Scotland's Daily Record newspaper for publication, right? Listen. But instead of the newspaper handing the image over to the British Ministry of Defence, which kept it secret until now, right? The Daily Record's picture editor at the time sent that image to Craig Lindsay, who was a RAF press officer in Scotland. He passed the print to the Ministry of Defence in London and the Ministry of Defence in London then asked him to obtain the negatives. So he went back to the Daily Record, asked the Daily Record to send the negatives to London, which they did, um, which they duly did, quite amazingly, right? It is a bit weird that. Why would you send, why would you send negatives? But I suppose, you know... If you want to prove something, right, if you think this is absolutely legit and you have to get that word out there and somebody like a Ministry of Defence in London, like, that they want the negatives, you might be thinking in your head, well, they want the negatives to see if, it, if it's not fake, right? So, yeah, of course, here's the negatives, right? And that's when they disappeared. The negatives disappeared. The photos disappeared. The negatives disappeared. How weird is that? Why was it back in 1990, mate? They were like, oh, that's very nice. Send me the negatives. Never to be seen again. Whilst the smoking man is in the background. <sighs> yeah. X-Files. Right? So it, it's, it's, it's mad. Clark writes that the information linked to the photo together with the image should have normally been released by now as 30 years has passed. Right? It's been waiting 30 years for these things to arise. But the identities of the two hikers who took the photo are still unknown and are not expected to rele uh, be rele revealed before 2072, as the Ministry of Defence has city privacy concerns. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Oddly, despite of the... Um, sorry, uh, concerns. Oddly, despite of the publicity, the two chaps who took the photographs have never come forward, Clark told, new t told Newsweek. The negatives have never been seen since they reached the Ministry of Defence. Now, the Ministry of Defence say that they returned them to the Daily Record, but the Daily Record say they never received them. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, I haven't got them, I'm giving them to you. No, I haven't got them, I'm giving them to you. And they have no idea what happened to them. So there's a lot of questions to be answered. What does the photo show? Well, we can see what it shows, but here we go. This is a bit more detail. While we don't know what happened to the men who took the photo, we do know that they described what happened 32 years ago. According to what Lindsay told Clark, the two men were uh, working as chefs in a hotel in uh, Pil Pil Pitslockery. It's Scottish, so it's probably got a heavy accent, right? In the Scotland Highlands, when the summer evening... They decided to go for a walk in the hills near Calvine. While out walking, the two spotted a huge diamond-shaped flying object moving silently in the sky. They saw the thing in the sky and it scared them, Clark told Newsweek. They ran into some woodland to sort of keep their heads down and they heard this jet come down the valley and then two minutes later it returned and started circling around the object and that's when they took the photographs. So this fighter jet was like, holy F, mate. What is that? We better keep tracks on this thing, <laughs> okay? Whether... Um, whether that the two men saw the summer evening in 1990 was actually a UFO, as the two men thought then, is still unclear. Well, I think it's mainly a UFO, isn't it? Clark had a photo. and Right, this is really interesting, okay? So all the sceptics. Um, Clark had the photo analysed by one of his colleagues, senior lecturer at, in photography at Sheffield Hallam University, Andrew Robinson who said the image shows no signs of manipulation. It follows, that the, um, it follows that this is either a genuine unidentified flying object in the sky, the report by Robertson reads, or that any construction or manipulation caused to the create this effect occurred in front of the camera and in... Okay, yeah, in front of the camera and not in the capturing of the scene on film, nor the subsequent 
processing and printing of the image. So they would actually have literally put something in front of them and then took a photo, okay? Because it, it, the photo's not been doctored. Here he is, look. David Clark, legend. Well done, mate. Lindsay is also convinced that the image is not a hoax. But while Clark admits that the photo is by far the best UFO photograph he has he has ever seen, the journalists say he doesn't believe the object in the image is actually an alien flying saucer. So he does actually think it's alien, right? Sadly, I do not think the mysterious aircraft arrived from another galaxy, Clark wrote in a PC published in the Daily Mail. I believe it was man-made somewhere in a secret hangar, and whatever was remains of the secret list and highly sensitive. He thinks the mysterious flying object could have been a, the Aurora, a top secret reconnaissance aircraft which the US was rumoured to be building in the 1980s. I'm, I'm going to have a little look at that in a second. Um, uh, though there was never any evidence of such project in the US government has consistently denied this ex existence. Although there has never been any substantial evidence that it was ever built or flown, there have been numerous unexplained sightings and incidents in both the US and the UK over the years that have fueled the Aurora myth, <clears throat> Calvin included, um, wrote Clark. Though Clark is 100% sure that, that someone somewhere in the military establishment in Britain or in the US knows exactly what the photograph shows. The journalist, the journalist also admits that it's possible the image could be anything, including a prank. The other option is the whole thing is a practical joke, a prank that got out of hand, Clark told Newsweek. I, mean, I don't know about that. But, and that's, just, that's not me just wanting to believe. I just think that, yeah, there's too many question marks about it to be like that, right? The whole purpose of publishing this story is hopefully to get there either the photographers themselves or someone who knows the photographers or knows something about the circumstances to come forward and solve the mystery. Wow. Imagine that you're hiking and you see a huge UFO in front of you, take photos, and you want the world to see what you saw because you know it's 100% legit. You send it off to the like, Ministry of Defense and it just disappears. <laughs> How mad is that, mate? Right, so let's take a little look at the UFO videos that you have sent me for us to look at, okay? Now, here's one um, that somebody sent me, and this is absolutely crazy. What do you think of this? Before we see the video, I want you to uh, listen to this. For 24 hours, this video was submitted to the OVNIS videos community to give everyone as an informed opinion. The result of the survey is UFO 71%. So 71% of people think that this is a UFO. Other possibilities, 29%. Okay, so I'm expecting 29% of the comments to say that that video is rubbish. <laughs> okay, check out this video. Boom. <laughs> Mate. Look at that. So, so in my mind, somebody wants to record a plane takeoff, right? Which a lot of people do and landings. But all of a sudden sees a UFO blast its way through a cloud. And I know like the quality's not 100%. It's not 8K as we demand nowadays, but it's still pretty darn good, right? Look at that. That's good. Hey, that is good. Okay, this is this is one on Facebook by the channel Extraterrestrials. Um, which I will follow now. Uh, take a little look at this. I've only seen a little bit of it. I'm going to try and watch it in real time with you. This is a UFO that was observed for 22 minutes near the International Space Station. I think it was in 2020 or before. The object is of a shape and size that is not recognizable as any known rocket or capsule and appears to move in a straight line upward and disappear. It could be an alien spaceship, a secret U.S. Air Force stealth device, or some new type of technology but it is something peculiar. The NASA camera zooms in on the object, 
but the crew members seem it's unaware right, of it. Or do it, it's right around here that it starts to lose me. Right around here, just it looks like you know when uh, back in the eighties, the old Superman, and like he was like this and going through the going through the clouds. It just looked like back then it looked real as anything, but now it just looks fake as f. But I don't know. It's right here that it starts to it starts to lose me. Like here at the beginning, the UFO I'm thinking, that was right. observed for 22 minutes near the you know? International Space Station. I think it was in 2020 or before. The NASA camera right right zooms in on the object, but the crew members seem unaware of it or do not mention it much, although the object is described as being pyramid or hive-shaped. Hmm. Yeah, I, it's sort of, like I say, it got me at the beginning. I'm thinking, oh, what is that? And obviously they fast forward the, the, the video because the whole thing there is 22 minutes apparently, right? So I don't know. What do you reckon about that one? What do you reckon? Um, <laughs> first comment: still blurry as hell. Um, what's this one? I don't even know what this one is. Hang on. Oh, okay, yeah. Look at this. It's a short one. See. Right at the beginning. See, right at the beginning, right? How many videos have you seen that I've shown you that look like that? Like a, a white blob. <clears throat> and I do look through the comments. I see a lot of people saying that, yeah, it's a UFO. And a lot of people saying it's a drone, right? Now, it's sort of... I get why you're saying you think it's a drone, okay? Because the logical part of your brain says, okay, how rare is it to see a UFO? And what's the probability of it being a UFO, right? When you start breaking it all down, yeah, it could be quite slim. But to say something like a white ball of blob is a, is a adamant uh, drone is, is... I think it's just reaching... It's just... I know it's reaching a little bit, you know, because that doesn't look like a drone. I've got a drone, right? Um, they don't look like that, okay? <laughs> I'll get my drone out. <clears throat> That's what she said. This is a drone, right? That doesn't look like that, okay? That's a drone. And it blinks a little green light and a little blue light at the back, all right? That is a drone, okay? But then, obviously, as it, as it moves forward, yeah? Look, now we're starting to see it. Look, if you were to say that's a drone, I'd be like, yeah, okay. It could be. Let's zoom in to find it, you know? It looks a little bit more like a particular drone. But, I don't know. It's... It, it's it, it, you have to I, I don't know I just I like to keep open minded about these things I'm sure that there's that, that, that there's more likely a legitimate reason of what that is okay it it more than likely isn't a UFO but it's possible that it is and the reason I say it's possible that it is because I damn well believe that there is UFOs right I damn well believe I want to believe Okay, I want to believe and I do believe that there is UFOs. So there could, that could be. That's what I'm trying to say, all right? Anyway, moving on to the next. Oh, it, uh, yeah, I wanted to see what these people said here. Like, this, is, this is the comments of what they said. Wow, extraterrestrial. Drone, <laughs> here we go, let's see. Drone, question mark. And to be fair, yeah, we, we've just discussed that. This one, I mean, this one is... It's incredible, right? Looking at it, it looks magical and fantastic. Um, and if it's real, mate, pfft, if, if this is real, this has got to be like one of the best footage ever, right? Look at this. Look at this, mate. Look at it. <laughs> Look at that. And that's like those little, like those um, uh, circular cloud things that keep on being pushed out of rockets. Okay, right. I'm all right. I'll 
despite what I think, okay, and what I've tried to explain to you, I'm telling you now that I, okay, I'm defeated. The donut clouds that come out of these things is the SpaceX rocket, okay? You've convinced me. Although I do still don't know why they fly out forwards and not backwards. But, but anyway, I'm, I'm saying, okay, I believe you. They are SpaceX. People see them all the time over there, apparently, okay? I've been told off. But this, man, that is, uh, <laughs> that's mad. It is mad. Look at it. Because, like I say, I, I, if somebody said to me, Ben, would you place money on that's a UFO? Hell no. Right? <laughs> no. But, if we're just having a general chit chat, I could, but my open mind is like, it could be, mate, you don't know. You don't know. Who knows? It could be CGI, more than likely is, but it might not be, right? This is, this is the one that, this is why I love doing this sort of stuff. Because it's like I say, it's similar to um, the, the um, paranormal videos that I do about ghosts and stuff. More than likely, they're all fake. But it might not be, right? It might not be. And some look very, very legit. So who am I to say? I'm just like watching this stuff. <laughs> okay. Now this, to me, does look legit. Okay? This one does look legit. And big shout out as well to the hidden underbelly, right? When people send me um, emails about UFOs and things like that, the hidden underbelly pops up quite a lot. So sh fair shout to him, mate. Um, now look at this blink and you will miss it all right here we go look whoa do you see that boom right so there's the still there's a still photo we'll see it again it's going to slow down look that afterwards. boom mate let me let me go let me go frame by frame on this one right there look at that mate the speed of that as well what underbelly goes on to say as well that um let me just try and get the get the image again right what he goes on to say as well this doesn't look like a drone because one, you don't see any of these, right? And two, another fantastic point. The amount of trouble that you'd be in if you were flying a drone where aeroplanes are flying around, mate. The, the, the tr like, if a drone hit one of those planes, it would just make so much damage and it'd be manned down, right? So I don't... Now, again... It could be CGI with computers nowadays. There's a possibility that it could be fake. Absolutely, 100% believe that. But that is pretty damn weird, mate. Now, this one here is the final one. And this is sort of like... Um, this one sort of puts the icing on the cake of the discussion of where we think what is real and what is fake, all right? Now... I want you to look at this. If you think it's real, tell me, okay? If you think it's fake, tell me, but you have to tell me why you think it's fake. And you can't just say, because it looks like it, right? Why? Is it the color? Is it the shine? Are the shadows off, right? Is it too clear cut versus the, 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 the photos, uh, sorry, the video? Like, what, what is it about it that is fake? And I suppose, yeah, you could say that if it's real. Why do you think it's real? Right? Why? And again, I wish I had the backstory to this. But check this out. <clears throat> Look at Worst cameraman in the whole entire history of cameraman, right?
Is it, what's it doing? Is it coming back? What's this bit here? Let's see that again. So here it is, pops out here, right? Now, to me, um, <clears throat> the, the <sighs> color-wise, it blends very well into the the video, right? Um, the lighting, if you look at the lighting hitting against the the mountains here versus the actual UFO, that's right. As it spins as well, the shadows like still are remaining in the right sort of area. I mean, look at the look at this. this maybe it's his hat or his head or something, or whatever that was. And like it's silhouetted as it approaches, like you know, as the sun's behind it facing us, it's silhouetting. Um, the location versus the the scenery to track that as the camera's jumping down, the, the image is jumping down. Like, you know, it's tracked very well. I'm not saying it's real. I'm just saying we can't just say because something's blurry, we have to throw out the window. Now, if I said to you, the backstory of this was um, back in 1980, the, the, the US Army had a... I don't know, a call out that there is a weird anomaly flying in the sky and this video ca this video was was hidden for us for 30 years and now it's risen up. People might be like, whoa, it's a UFO. But because we're just seeing a video on a standalone video, our skepticism comes right up, right? So I don't know, man. This is it. This is why I love this stuff, mate. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. So um, I'm looking forward to the, the conversations in, in the comments about this one. What do you think? Anyway, right. Um, next week is going to be a bit of a busy week for me. I'm getting new windows put in and stuff like that. So Monday and Tuesday, I'm going to try my best to get a video. But if you don't say, see one, um, I'm, I'm sorry. But I'll make it up for the rest of the week. I am planning to do a weeks worth seven days of alien and ufo videos i'm really like almost like a like a an alien week right an alien week i might do it leave me in the leave a message in the comments if you want that a whole week worth of aliens and please if you are into aliens ufos ghost paranormal please subscribe because mate we're on our road to a million and um if you know anybody that's into ufos and aliens and ghosts please let them know about the channel thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it take care Bye bye